Okay, so we can see that we've got an issue with the node at this point. We can see the error message here is that it can't connect any seeds. The reason why it can't connect any seeds is because there's one other file that we need to modify when we're switching over from the testnet over to the mainnet. Let me hop over and show that and modify it. Okay, so we need to go into the config JSON. And the reason why it's not finding any seeds is because we still have the old testnet seeds in this line. So what we need to do is go down and just get rid of the, the testnet seeds and put in the mainnet seeds. And then it should find some seeds and then it should be able to start syncing with the network. So over node resources, make sure we go over to the mainnet dispatcher and seed list. And let's grab a couple of these. And we'll put them in there. I'll put a comma in there and I'll grab another one and throw it in there. And you could you could add all of them if you want, but we'll just start with a couple. And let's see how that goes. All right, let's go over here and now start it up again here. And this is what we want to see. We want to see it grabbing some peers. And if we can take a look at our status and see what's going on. Okay, we are now on the main net. We are still catching up. We're at block 4118. Block 530, catching up. All right, so let's give this a little bit to catch up. And as soon as it gets synced, then we are fully switched over and synced up with the mainnet. The only thing we need to do to create a validator is to import the wallet that has the pocket that we want to use for the staking transaction and execute the staking transaction. And that's it. We did those things in prior videos, setting up the testnet. So feel free to refer to those. Thanks a lot.